What's up, my peeps? How's it going? Today on the Monday Challenge, we're going to be color grading in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to try and bring something from Premiere into DaVinci Resolve, color grade that, bring it back into Premiere, see if I can do that, see if I can get a better look in DaVinci. So, without further ado, let's get it going. So with the recent release of DaVinci Resolve, I figured, hey, why not give it a shot? Why not finally try and color grade in this program? I've downloaded different versions of DaVinci in the past, but in all honesty, I just, I've never given it a shot. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna take the footage that I shot for that Edgar Wright sequence that I did a few weeks ago. If you guys haven't checked that video out, leave a link down or up or around the corner somewhere. I already have DaVinci downloaded. I already have the sequence and everything laid out because it's already edited. So the focus of this, like I said, is gonna be the color grade. I think I have to export the XML of the timeline. So we got a file export, Final Cut Pro XML. Hmm, okay. So we got an error. I don't know. Oh, I think it's just all the audio tracks didn't get transferred over, which is fine. I don't need those. I'm gonna try and open this up in uh, DaVinci, see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's give this a shot here. So now I would assume file import media from XML. Well, the files opened, but what about the actual <laughs> Whoa, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I am so lost. Your whole sequence is now import. Well, how did you do that? Oh, it's because I didn't go to import timeline. I just went to import files. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Try. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. File, import timeline. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. So this keeps popping up, and I don't know why, but uh, I'm just gonna hit no. Okay. It kind of looks like uh, looks like we're good. All I'm worried about are the video files. It looks like the sound design didn't didn't get brought over, which is fine. I don't I don't need that to color grade. Oh, what is going on? Why is it? <laughs> Oh, that's not right. That's that's not right at all. Why? Why? Why is it doing this? Okay, so I just watched a video and some dude did something in the project settings and that fixed the issue. It has something to do with input scaling or something? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. Image scaling and it's already set to that. To fit to center crop with no resize, so this won't touch it. Maybe if I match timeline settings and then I'll go this and then this, save. Please work, please work, please work. Nope, that did not do anything. Okay, so I actually got it. I, I was hitting the output, not the input. So the input has to be center crop with no resizing. So make sure you have that selected and then you can just save it. And then, uh, yeah, boom, good to go. All right, so now here comes the fun part where I try and color grade in this thing and just try and figure this out. Maybe what I'll do is I'll start with one that has skin tones on it. This might be a good clip to start with. Let's start here. Let's start with this one, because I feel like, you know, doing the skin tones. I don't know, I don't know if I actually like this, if I'm being completely honest. I'm giving it a shot. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay, see, this is more my speed. This is more my shadows, midtones, highlights. Oh, okay, so you can toggle between the three. That's cool. So what's over here? What's this? Ooh. Okay, so hue versus hue, hue versus saturation, hue versus luminance. But I'm just gonna rip around and see how I like this thing. All right, so I'm just kind of messing around with this, and I do like a lot of the features in DaVinci Resolve, but if I'm being honest, a lot of these features still are in Adobe Premiere. However, I will say that it does feel like I can really dial in the grade in DaVinci compared to Adobe, but for me, I'm so used to being able to have an adjustment layer and then make quick adjustments as I go through my timeline, and I'm having a hard time figuring that out in DaVinci. So I'm wondering if Maybe the best way for me, at least, to use DaVinci would be to create a LUT. Take something from my timeline in Premiere, bring it into DaVinci Resolve, color grade it from there, generate the LUT, bring that into Premiere, and then adjust every single clip on my timeline. The reason why I think that might be best is because I find a lot of efficiency in having the adjustment layer and just being able to play through the timeline and just make those minor adjustments as I go throughout the timeline. One thing I wanna say, and I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but I'm not 
like a professional colorist. I do it just kind of based on what I think looks good and, and things that I've learned over the years. The way that it's just all set up and everything, it feels like it's for a professional colorist. And that's why you see a lot of people who are colorists using this software. So for now, just so I can complete this challenge because I, I feel like if I tried to really figure this out right now, I would be sitting here for a very long time. But with this grade right here that I got, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. So I feel like if I brought that back into Premiere, if I generated the LUT, I'd be able to really tweak every individual clip with a lot more ease. In order to do this, you have to right click on the thumbnail of the grid that you want. So for me, I just gotta right click this clip, generate 3D cube. All right, so now we'll go back into here, take an adjustment layer, plop that on there. And then in Lumetri Color, we're gonna go under our Creative tab, go to Look, Import. I mean, just real quick, kind of like breezing through all these clips and everything. I mean, it looks pretty good. Looks like a you know a solid grade. All right, so here's a comparison of what I did before compared to what I just did now. I mean, both of them look good. They're both completely different grades in my opinion. I definitely think that the colors maybe look a little bit better in the Da Vinci one. But I feel like as far as tones and everything and detail and, and contrast, I, I feel like I'm leaning more towards the original grade that I had. I didn't necessarily try and recreate that original LUT, so I don't, I don't really know if this is the best way to compare it. So more of a lax challenge today. I like doing this. I like kind of like trying something new, trying a new program out. I feel like I should do this more often to, to make myself a little more diverse. At the end of the day, it's kind of all preference, you know, just like the camera you use. You guys are new here. If you stuck around this long, appreciate you watching. You can do all those things like comment, subscribe, ring the bell. You know, you know what's up. But yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget, stay hungry. We'll see you soon. Peace.